everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So we've got a lot to talk about this episode. A lot of things have changed between episodes. Uh, I recorded five, the last five episodes in batch. Most likely I'll be recording the next, I don't know, three or four, maybe five episodes in a batch as well. Uh, my time is getting very limited. I was hoping to do more over the holidays, but just, we've had a lot going on. Uh, my kids had a couple of auditions, one for a Netflix TV sh uh, show and one for uh, a TV series. Um, as a for a supporting actor and the Netflix uh, movie was supposed to be for a primary actor so uh, I'm just kind of a I don't know what do you want to call proud father I guess boasting about my kid but anyway uh, so I'll be recording things in batch today but we want to have a look at uh, a couple of things this episode first of all I'm gonna go to engineering so we managed to get a third mech capable of dropping now so we'll be able to drop a lance of seven which is gonna be cool uh, and the next thing we're going to look at is the mech base because a lot of things have changed. So I put together the Kronos and the Arctic Cheetah Prime. Um, now I haven't touched these at all, I just kind of left them. Uh, I was going to do what I was going to do between episodes, but I figured you guys, I, we, we put these together at the end of last episode, or I put them together between episodes, but we got them last episode, so I... I you know, I want to at least let you guys see what I'm going to do with them. But before we do that, I'm just going to go through the mechs real quick. So the Loki and the Archer pretty much stay the same. I didn't touch them at all. The Apollo we've changed. Um, now, it used to be the MML, or sorry, the uh, MRM launcher. Uh, but we've changed this around. Uh, we're running with the ATM-6 build on this guy. Uh, now, we've run with, we've already ran with this, and I've said if I, I, I enjoyed this. So we're going to leave it as this. Um, I'm really liking that loadout, uh, so we're going to stay with that way. Um, then the Centurion stayed the same pretty much. Uh, I took out the Streak SRM4 in the torso here, and we've got an MML5 risk with some dead fire ammo and just the regular LRM ammo. Um, we can have continuous fire with this, which is, you know, it's a, I don't know if it's any more firepower than what we had with the SRM4 Streak, but uh, this way it balances out. We've got some Case 2 in here now too, which is a bonus. And we've got one jump jet, uh, which so now we can jump off of uh, any rocks that we managed to spawn in on at the beginning. Um, then the Bushwhacker we've had to redo because we lost the uh, Pirate Plasma Cannon, which was a kind of a nice weapon, but it gave me the chance to swap this thing around for a little bit more punch. Now the rocket launchers, the incendiary rocket launchers have been working relatively well. Um, but we've only got three turns of fire with these guys, and then all of a sudden we just had the plasma cannon and an a ER medium laser, and the plasma cannon was misfiring, apparently. I wasn't really noticing it, but it was misfiring and, and becoming damaged, and that's how we ended up losing it, is it damaged itself and destroyed itself. So, in order to fix that, we've got an ATM-3 here, which we had before, but stayed in. We put the two MRM-10s in the arm here, uh, with a weapon mount, which is going to give these things a great chance to hit. We've got plus two uh, to hit MRM, um, improved MRM uh, ammo um, tons here to give it even more of a chance to hit. And we've got a pair of ER medium lasers in case we have to go uh, for a long period of time. Like the MRMs will last for a long time. But these will give us some longevity in a fight if we have to. Once we run out of our rockets and stuff, we'll at least have some ability to be able to do some damage to people. So the heat sinking is really isn't that great. Uh, but it is if we're not firing everything, so which we won't be doing for most of the time anyway. Um, so that's the bushwhacker. The hell spawn stayed the same. The crab now is in play. And what, I what I've done with this guy is we've turned him into the long range long range boat. So we've got a clan ER large and a ER medium. A pair of LRM 15s. We got uh, regular LRM ammo because I don't have Artemis ammo. We're running the Artemis 2 because I don't have a 3 right now. But once we get some more stuff, that's what's going to be going in here, the Artemis 3 few other things. Um, we got Thunder Ammo. We didn't have really a lot of it, but uh, we do have some mines now and regular Thunder Ammo. Um, and I put that uh, remote sensor um, dispenser on this thing. It's got five salvos, but it basically the idea is to uh, increase the sensor rate on uh, mech center at a distance. So hopefully uh, if we're having a problem shooting somebody a distance, we can hit this thing uh, hit him with this thing and it'll give us some uh, uh, improved sensor checks on those mechs. So that's the goal with this guy. And it's got a couple of jump jets plus a UAV to round things out. Now the heat sinking on this is actually pretty good. Um, so I'm not really too worried about this guy. Um, 
But yeah, another long range mech into play. And that's what we got here. So, uh, the Arctic Cheetah Prime, let's have a look at this guy real quick. Now, we didn't get much off this guy. Um, it's pretty much trashed as far as w if I want to do anything with it. Now, it is only 30 tons, so it's like I don't really want to keep it around anyway. But there's a few things on here I want to keep. So, uh, we're just going to go ahead and trash this guy. I don't want to, um, oops, I don't want to uh, keep this guy when I'll be paying for him all the time. So, we're going to go ahead and trash this Omni Mech for a million C bills, which is awesome. And then the Kronos, 55 tons. Well, it's 55 tons. It's, it would be an upgrade for the Hellspawn and stuff. I don't really feel that it's an improvement in any way. Um, so if we repair all, we don't get much out of this. We get the XL engine, the core, which is kind of nice. But there really isn't anything else. The ERPPC and a jump jet. So what? Uh, is this thing going to give us anything? Uh, it does have the XL engine already installed. But if you look at it here with the 330 core, we don't really have much weight left. We got like less than nine tons left. And that's before we max the armor, right? So now we got just about six tons of, of space left to be able to put things in, which really isn't much. Even if we take these weapons out, right, we're still we're dealing with 15 tons, which isn't a whole lot to put heat sinking and stuff in here. So I'm going to go ahead and scrap this guy as well. Uh, get them out of the inventory. We'll make some money off it. We'll have an ERPPC, XL Engine, 330 Core, things like that. Uh, but I'm happy with the Lance we we do have right now. So let's scrap this guy. We get a, like half a mil. It's not bad. So now we do have some funds, which we can use to upgrade some of these guys once we get some stuff. Okay? So that's what I was planning on doing. Now, I have a look at the barracks here. I don't think any of our pilots have the ability to raise anything up. Now, Hellion, we did notice that we have to add two points to be able to get one. Uh, I don't know whether that's a bug or not, but if I just add one to Guts, it'll be gone by the end of the combat, so we have to save up for this. Now, piloting seems to be going okay. I, I don't know, but I'm saving up to go for Guts, so we're going to need to get, what, that's uh, 8,700, so we're 4,000 away. Gundal's fine, Goofy's fine. Duck, we can raise something up here. We want to go for overheat threshold. We could just save for gunnery, I think. We were talking about maybe going tactics for sensor lock. That's another possibility, but we'll have to see here. We'll leave it for now, Dallas. Now we have two other pilots. We're going to have to bring one into play. Most likely it'll be Mastodon since he's got enough experience for it. And this guy's still, uh, this guy's still out. So, all right, let's get set up here and choose a battle. Now, I've already figured out what we're going to do. And I'm getting a little cocky because we got seven mechs now. Uh, I'm going to go down here to a favor to regret. It's a three and a half skull mission against pirates. High tonnage pirate lance will shortly make planet fall. So this should be an interesting combat. Um, if things go south, we'll just bail out. Uh, but I think I want to try this. The other one is incomplete intelligence. It's three skulls, but it is against clan wolf. And I don't think it's a destroy base, but most likely we'll be dealing either with... Um, a full half decent sized lance, most likely uh, higher end mediums and heavies, uh, and maybe even an assault mech, plus the turrets, which I think are going to be nasty turrets, and then most likely another drop after that. So I don't know if this is the best uh, way to go. I'm thinking this three and a half skull against pirates is probably going to be maybe easier than this one. It depends on what the rule is on this, but we're going to give it a shot. So let's negotiate this. Now I know, um, I can't remember who it was, someone said I should be looking to get more clan gear and weapons and stuff before we head to the Inner Sphere. I totally agree. Uh, I'm going to have to start taking way more missions against the clans and start getting more clan gear. Um, but uh, yeah, I think we need to be uh, definitely uh, uh, on the lookout for that stuff. Okay, so uh, let's bring the Centurion down here. Get everybody into play the way they should be. Duck is back here. Uh, Bushwhacker with Goofy and then the Archer and Crab with Gundal and a Mastodon. Alright, let's try these and see what we do. Alright, here we go. Not really a big fan of this map. But looks like we're probably going to have two lances, on, at least two lances up against us. We do have some guys with us here. Looks like we do. Yeah. All right. We got some... Uh, looks like three lances. Oh, this should be really fun. Standing by. 
Okay. Got it. Full speed, no target. Uh Yeah. Full throttle. Receiving you. Just get up over here. You're going to have to move in to engage, so we'll get him over there. Hell yeah, we want the rack up on the hill, definitely. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do here and how... Like, if we get a ton of guys on us, we could be in trouble. This guy can't... Yeah, see? Whole reason why we get the one jump yet. Now I don't have to restart. Uh yeah, let's hop down here. What do we have on our side here? Catapult, okay. Crusader, Shadowhawk, Hellbringer. You have order? Yeah, I need you to go down here. You're going to need to close. You. Yeah, once again. Up on a hill. We're going this way anyway, so. All right. Yeah, don't move in or anything, guys. Okay, we got somebody up here. What do we got? A vehicle? Cyclops. Almost no armor, though. 50T. Is that a 50-ton Cyclops? No, really? Prowler. Really weak armor. LRM Carrier Mark II. We have to take that out fast. All right, well, let's use the trees. Let's get up here. Let's see what we got here. Uh, a Roughneck, 65. Thunderbolt, 65. Hollander, 35. Another Roughneck. TBM-10 carrier. Quick draw. Okay, so not so bad. Not so bad, he says, before it gets completely eliminated. Light mortar carrier, prowler multi-terrain. We got really great chances to hit on these guys. I think I'm going to go after this guy, though. I don't know. Tag orbital. That seems like it could be really nasty, so let's see if we can kill this guy. Leave the arrow on. All weapons committed. Boom! See ya! That tag orbital, I just saw that, and I'm like, that doesn't sound like it's going to be a very nice weapon at all. Roger. Let's get rid of that. All right, we got a multi-target coming up here. We're going after both of these guys. So, A, going to just split it down the middle here. And A for the tag barrage. If we overshoot, we'll hit B. Actually, is B easier? No, A is easier. All right, we're going this right. Whoa. Dude. Watch where you're freaking shooting that thing. Okay, we got the prowler. Yeah, kill that guy. I've got eyes on hostile Of course you do. Somebody's gonna get a face full of rack. What do we got? That's the chopper. This is the roughneck. We're gonna multi-target. Gonna go against the roughneck and against this guy. I want to get rid of that guy. So these are going to be... 
This will go to B with the LRMs, and we'll leave the barrage off for now. And let's dial the rack up. Inflict as much damage as we can to start. Can't warlord it, but we're going to go this route. Oh, five hits? Did we get him? No. Nope, no such luck. Oh, what do we got over here? Good, you got him. A little bit overkill, but whatever. What's this guy? Icarus, 40 tons. I have no idea if it's full or armor or not. Yes, Commander. Yeah. Now let's sprint it up. That's the chopper. Can we not see this guy over here? Let's get into here. Oof, really. Taking the shot. Commander. Uh now we could go up this way, but I think we're probably better off moving up here. Out. Now, uh not gonna use the thunder yet. I, I think I want to l try and kill this guy. Uh, standard ammo, 6.2, eh? Ooh. Eighteen percent. Yeah, let's take the chance on this guy. Maybe we can kill him. No, not quite. I think I hit something good. Not quite. We still have our archer though, so I'm not worried about it. I'm going to split up probably the archer between that guy and the uh, LRM carrier back here, depending on our chance to hit. Or if he kills this guy. Nope. Not today. Oh, I take it back. I got I saw right away I would speak so soon. Look at it, it's still going through the air. Look at, look at, look at, did it land on him? No, I will. Okay, another choppa. What are you doing? You tricky beast, what are you doing? No tag, no tag please. No tag for me. As long as they don't push this, if they push, we're, we could be in trouble. Well, I don't know. I don't even know. If we didn't have the support lance with us, I'd say we would definitely be in trouble, but we can definitely take down all these lower armored mechs relatively quickly, I think. At least if we, uh, you know, even come out of this with a few problems, there's a few mechs here that we could, like, there's, like, a couple of things of 65 tonners we could, uh, Walk out over here with a 65 ton mech. Shadow Hawk. Sure, shoot at that guy. So I'm not not sure if these choppers are from, I think they're from the secondary lance that came in because it looks like these full strength, we got the quick draw the Roughneck, the Thunderbolts, and the Hollander, I think, is the main lance, and then the, all the weakened guys are the support lance. But there is two Roughnecks here, right? There's a full strength one. That's the Thunder... Wait, that's the part strength Thunderbolt. Roughneck? I thought there was another one. Yeah, right here. 1C, 3A. Also, thank you to the person that uh, showed me... Um, about the colors when assembling mechs. I didn't realize that. I, I, I probably should have queued into that when I was kind of attempting to uh, assemble mechs and stuff, but 
depending on the color it can tell you whether a mech can be assembled or if it's like like for instance if it's red it's a specific mech and needs specific mech parts let's remove this guy if it's yellow it can be built you've got enough parts for it come on blow up damn it yeah no that, that's pretty cool I, I I figured the colors were there for some kind of reason but I wasn't really looking at it too too hard another gunship so uh, yeah thanks for that it's gonna make things uh, when I'm assembling mechs a little easier all right uh, goofy what do I want you now Oh, you can't these guys are blocking you because they're assholes uh, we could jump up here though here we go. let's get those MRMs into play wow really Huh. Okay, well, you know, we'll just, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll just brace, I guess. Oh, another Nighthog. Or Nidhog, sorry. We got four of these choppers, too. We better take them out fast. It almost makes you want to target the choppers first, just so that you can get away from the delay. I'm not going to do it, because I still want to take out some of these, uh, partially damaged mechs quicker than quicker than not all that for a whole lot of nothing huh thanks for showing up get an E for effort at least you didn't overheat yourself looking at you Dallas Oh, that's interesting. You're going to want to bring more than micro lasers to a rack fight. Okay, we're going to have to flank that guy. TBM carrier, or someone's got TBMs. I don't know who that is. Oh, what do we got back here? What are you doing back here, mister? Bombard, okay. Thanks for showing up. Alright, I guess it's up to me to kill these choppers. Oh, that guy, we could go for a back shot. <gasps> then I'd be out in the open so bad. Flames on the way. Flames on the way. Can't you take me a path with the snow flames, please? We're going to go here because Idiot has decided to uh, give us his back, so we're going to take it. Not quite enough to kill, but enough to uh, cause some severe damage. You're on chopper duty, as always. Let's get in closer. Oh, really? I copy. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Yeah, well. Somebody's gotta shoot at him. I'm listening. Now you've already fired at the rough neck. Wow. That freaking rack jammed already, huh?
All right, this is a multi. And B will get this, and we'll turn this off for now. And fire. Here we go. Ah, lots of advanced AMSs, huh? Not give them direct fire. Good to go. Okay, let's get into here. Nice, beautiful back shot on this guy. Which we're going to take. Um, yeah, let's just go with regular LRMs. I'm leaving the Thunder for later. Confirmed. Eh. I think Micro Laser Boy needs a dose of heat. Come on, Crapple Pole, do something. Oh, you're retreating. Isn't that wonderful? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Is that you there? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so he's not retreating. He's just not going to shoot. Unless he's calculating right now. Which it looks like he's probably doing. Come on, take out that missile carrier for me. He shot at you, shoot at him, man. Shoot at him. It's only like, they've only got, what, 12 guys left? So not that bad. Wait, are you backing up too? No, he's coming up the hill. Okay. Okay. Alright, finally. Okay. Gondol. I want direct fire. We could. Let's see what we can get direct fire. Bombard, 67%. 73 on this guy. A lot of energy weapons on this roughneck. Okay. That's the back of this guy, right? He's almost dead, too. But he's got no weapons, so there's no point even shooting at this guy anymore. The carrier we could probably take out if we hit it enough. 67 on the bombard. He's got low armor. You know what? I think it's probably better if we go after this guy. Let's warlord it too. Let's see if we can let's see if we can wreck this guy. I don't want those uh, these uh, thunderbolts. I'm not sure if they're 15s. I think they are, but I don't want to get hit by those things. Nope. A lot of armor stripping, though. Alright. Okay, just so you know, the enemy turns and our uh, mech's turns are taking really long, so I'm going to go in and I'm just going to start hacking some of this episode just to get things into <laughs> into shape here. Uh, let's get into huh could go after the bombard or we could try and finish some guys off here that's a really good chance to hit in the nightshade. Warlord. 
Wow. Why is that so good? The streaks are so bad. I don't know, but let's see if we can remove this guy from the battle. Beautiful. Don't want eyes on here. Any sensors I can get taken off us, I will. Oof, nice shooting, buddy. Nice shooting. Is that the Hollander? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry I put you up on this hill, buddy. Oh, you can run down. Okay, good. Not optimal, but we'll deal with it. Okay, what can we target here? And what's in range with what? ATM threes, what about you? Oh, that's everything. We're gonna leave the rock launchers off because it allows you chance to hit right now. And the tag, and uh, we're gonna target, I think we'll just target everything on this guy. Let's fire. Yeah. Eh. Making the attempt to flank, maybe? I don't know what they're doing. Well, somebody's AMS is having a field day. Whoa. Yep. Those are 20s, I think. No, 60 damage is the, f the 15s, I think, right? Goes up by 20 per, I think, something like that. Well, at least he ain't shooting me. Oh, Roughneck's finally coming into battle with no weapons. Who do we have left? Anybody? It's round 12, so I don't think we have anything left. Everybody's gone already. There we go. Now the question is, do I want the Bombard or the Roughneck? We're going to hit the Bombard with, wow. Should we just punish this guy? Yeah, let's punish this guy, see if we can remove him. Oh, see ya. You're not surviving that. Yeah. That, uh, yeah, the Hades needs to just stay at long range like that. I've got a tendency to move it in because to, to, it's got the most armor, but I can't remember who it was. Someone said I was, I've been moving it in too much, and they're right. It should just be standing back with that thing because that chance to hit 99%. Well, of course, the Bombard didn't move. Yeah. Right, so that's there's that. Let's get into here. And now that the rack is unjammed, let's make this guy pay. We're going to uh, go with everything on this guy. We're going to uh, Warlord it too. See if we can pull him out of the battle early. Can we get the chopper? We did. The chopper died. Beautiful. Yeah, the AoE, I didn't realize how big, a how much AoE damage, like uh, fire damage and stuff, the target, like the barrages and stuff, will do to vehicles. So thank you for pointing that out to me too, that really helps. Oh, this guy's dead. Let's use the barrage on him. Actually, I'm going to save the barrage. We got some choppers over on the other side we can hammer. 
See ya. Frig, man, that archer's strong. It is so ridiculously strong. I mean, I'm not complaining. Just stating the fact that it's strong. All right, back shots on this guy. Wow, that guy's burning through his AMS. Good thing he used it early because uh, Goofy's going to capitalize on it now. Hey. Hey. That's not fair. Hey, wait, that's the... You moved all the way over there? I guess you did. That's a pretty good movement. Eh, somebody's burned through some of his AMS, so I think maybe we want to get up there and, uh... Hammer him? You think? Do you? This guy right here? Let's make him understand that he's not welcome here. Let's warlord that. Because we can. Firing. <laughs> 12 from 103. <laughs> Good luck getting all those, pal. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. This is so much fun. I hate that fact that I can't take those rocket launchers off, but at the same time, it's just so enjoyable to watch that go off. That's got to be terror for a pilot, too. You just you see the Hellbringer come around the corner. It's just all missile pods, and you're just like, what the hell? Then he unloads them all on you. Oof. Those Nidhogs have eight, uh, Rack 5s, I think. Okay, Icarus unstable. Quick draws running away. Leave his guy to die here. Okay, Mastodon. See what you can do here. They're leaving that uh, guy to die, so take advantage of it if you can. Uh. Let's see if we can get lucky with this. Going to go, I guess, after you and you. B's taking those. And let's fire this guy off. Oh, we can't. It's a direct fire? It's direct fire. Really? Okay. Okay, a few hits. You're going to capitalize on my... No, oh, he didn't do it. I'm here. It's about to call him a cheater. I think we need to get our ATM build in here. Let's go after this chopper. Not the quick draw. This guy. Not the best chance to hit. Uh, we want to warlord this. No, let's just fire on him. Friggin' AMSs. Ooh, 111 damage. What did you shoot at him? Okay, we're over halfway. They got seven left. Don't forget the Hollanders up here. Over here. This guy's got no weapons, so effectively they got six left. Those choppers I'm worried about. Those rack fives? Oh, screw you and your sensor lock. 
You know this is going to paint a target on your back, right? <laughs> Sorry, there's no back to paint a target on right now anyway. <laughs> well, he stood there, guys. He stood there. With his back to us. Daring us to shoot him. Not my fault. Alright, do we take the chopper? Yeah, let's do it. That's a lot of armor. Let's get back up here. Ready for orders. Wow, what is up with that? Why are the streaks and everything so bad? Is it the range? can't be just the range. Let's move. Maybe it is. It's a little better. This guy doesn't have that. Oh, I got a lot of armor in the front, but nothing up top. Um... Let's go after this guy. Let's get rid of him. Nope. Wow. That hit something good. Yeah, but you didn't kill him, man. Dude. Okay, we know the ATMs aren't going through to this guy. Affirmative. Okay, we got one hit. Still couldn't get enough of them. Beautiful, we got something out of that. Down. I think they may have both burnt through their AMSs now for this turn, maybe? What do these things look like anyway? Apparently we can't see them up close. They vanish, huh? Oh no. Yeah, they do. There we go. Ah, uh, not too bad looking. Yeah. What do you think? He can rack five this guy maybe? 37% chance. Sure. Do what we can. He's having fun with those AMSs. Let's just move over here. It's not like they can't get to us. We, we can move anywhere. They're still going to be able to get to us. Okay. Should we overwork that guy's AMS? I'd love to use the tag barrage on this guy. Oh, I can't. He's a chopper. Don't matter, though. Fire the rest of this stuff at him. Vehicle 28 from 70. That's not bad. I think he had his AMS in overload. Oh, yeah, the archer. Um, I forgot I updated the archer. I put it... Um, I replaced two of the LRM-15s with LRM-20s, so we got an extra 10 missiles per turn. Forgot all about that. It's kind of nice. How might I help? Well... I understand. Do you? Do you understand? Shut him down, shut him down. Here it comes. Oh, not quite. Receiving you. There we go. Perfect green line. Thin green line. Here it comes, folks. Ah, leave it. 
Well, let's leave it on. Let's just see what it looks like when we fire it. I don't really see much there. Come on, knock him over. That's two full mechs while he's in the back of this quick draw. He's still alive. Barely. Oh, <laughs> just barely. <laughs> Somebody could just blow on him and he'll die. It's the incendiary round, so they only do one point of damage. But he's shut down now, so... He doesn't have really anything left in the way of weaponries. Oh my god, I'm starting to sound like an old person. Adding an S to the end of everything? It's the weaponries. Okay, that was not my fault. I did not adjust the map that way. Did not right click that time. I did not. That chopper didn't move. Can we get him? I want to laser him. Can't do it. Can't do it. Just can't do it. Oh, really? Alright, one support lance is done. Move a little bit. Get at least one chevron of evasion. Wait. Will the AMS? The AMS will fire on the, when you're firing from the back, right? On a chopper? Doesn't really matter where you're firing, but. Actually, you know what? Can you multi target and target the ground? So we go A. And we won't be able to target the ground, will we? No, we can't. Ah. Just fire at this guy. Firing on rear arc. Ooh, it's a lot of damage. Commander. Heading out. That's pretty good chances to hit. Confirmed. A lot of damage, but no uh Reporting. no luck, huh? Oh, I don't think we have to do that. He's shut down, right? He is. Should just be able to do that, right? Roger. Putting one in the back. Mech destroyed. They're down to three. Let's get in the trees. Let's put that mech in the trees, boy. Yeah, now they move in. Well, I kill that Nidhogg. I want to call it a Nidhogg. Nighthog sounds better, but then again, it also, when you put hog at the end of anything, you just think it's a motorbike. Nighthog sounds like a more like a motorbike than Nidhogg does, I guess, though. Where are you off to? Chicken! Yeah. They're running away. All right, risk five. Drop on you, don't I? Yeah, a couple hits, not bad. We we'll take it. Hope these guys turn and fight.
Be nice if we get lucky and take the head off a thunderbolt's not doing a damn thing. Let's get up in the trees, just in case. Alright, question is, do we go after the Nidhogg? It's already taken damage. That's a pretty good chance to hit, though. That's not. Let's go here. Okay, sensors are on him. Ooh, yeah. They're going to make us chase them. These guys have taken a pasting. He's coming back kind of to fight. Kind of to hide. Realizes he can't get out of here. See if we can clear this up. Well, we got a knockdown anyway. A little bit of back damage, but not much. Uh, let's move over here. Doesn't really matter where we go, I guess. We can't really get down in there to fight. Now, I might be able to take the Thunderbolt's head off now that he's on the ground. Maybe. But I won't be able to see him. This doesn't matter. Oh, wow. Wow, that's all I gotta say is wow, that's uh, pretty damn good chances to hit. Engaging target. Not that we could actually capitalize on it. Oh! I take that. Why do I open my mouth? Honestly, why do I open my mouth? Alright, let's see if we can get some pulses on our streaks in this guy's head, too. Uh, headshot. What do we get? Engine crit. I don't know where we got. I don't think we hit his head, though. I'm waiting for it to scream, HEADSHOT! Double kill! Rampage! Ah, man. Back in the Quake 2 days. PvP Quake 2 days, playing insta-jib. Insta which means as soon as you hit your opponent, it instantly explodes. Those days, uh, back with the ball mice, you could run and jump across a barricade or a, uh, a barrier and uh, spin around and shoot the guy directly behind you and then as you continue to spin, you land and run, keep running a straight direction. You can't do that with a... Uh, yeah, you can't do that with a... Uh, um, a laser mouth, mouse. There's just... You, your hand just can't be fast enough, but you could lift the mouse up with the ball mouse just slightly and spin the ball as you're turning. Ah, back those those days were just beautiful. Insta jib days were the best. See ya. There it is folks. Mission successful. Alright, there we go. Contract payment increased by 20 20%. We took a little bit of damage in this one. But we were facing 16 opponents, so I couldn't expect walking away with no damage. Mastodon, good XP. Now, we could take a Roughneck, which I think we probably should take. We got three pieces of the 3A. Uh, all energy loaded of two PPCs, four medium lasers, solitary small laser, 18 double heat sinks. Wow. Uh, what's this guy at? 
pair of SRM6s and a pair of machine guns for close range. LRM10 and an AC5. I think we go with the Roughneck 3A. Let's grab three. Oh, the whole Thunderbolt. What the hell? Did we blow his head off? Five laser, two missile, five support. It's the movement on this guy. The same. Seven laser. Five and two missile. How many support hard points is this? One support. Six jump. I think we're going to go with the Thunderbolt. Now, Bombard, we, I think we don't have any pieces left. Hollander, I think I sold the piece that we had. Thirty tons. Thirty ton Cyclops, really? AMS Flare. That's interesting. AMS Mark II. Hundred and twenty increased so this is this the the Mark II, is this the one that can fire at range? Let's get let's take it because I, I got um a message from somebody on the episode where I didn't take the Mark II. I think I was just reading it wrong. I was exp I'm looking for the I thought it was the improved one that had the ability to fire at uh enemies like that had missiles within range but maybe it's the mark two we're gonna try it out let's take that uh, sensor tracker again yeah I don't think there's anything else we need down here rack 10 we do have a pirate rack 10 still kicking around but that means I'd have to take three tons of this or at least two tons of it 14% jam chance though. Ah, all right, let's confirm this. All right, one roughneck part, Hollander, two Hollander parts. Well, we'll know if we kept the other one. I thought the Hollander was 45 tons though. Anyway, Icarus part, uh, large laser, three LRM20s. We can sell those. Nice, 140. We can sell Artemis 4. We got two of those. Yeah, LRM incendiary half load. Not bad, not bad. Ah, 40 grand. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, Thunderbolt here. Don't know which mech I will replace with this though. Uh, where are you here? Oops, heavies. Thunderbolt, yeah, so it's green which means we can assemble it. Right, am I correct in that? Red means you need to find mech parts that are just like that. I guess because they're Omnimax most likely oh I see here right green this one green means it's already put together yeah okay I'm getting it now slowly but surely all right we can assemble this guy let's ready him Okay, let's see what we got here. Oops, why do I keep doing that? Hey, why do I keep doing that? All right, Thunderbolt. Oh, really? The whole torso's got it, eh? So if we do... Just for the sake of argument, I'm just going to do this real quick. Now we kind of have a clan double heatsink kit, which really sucks. Uh, 275 to give it a bit of speed. We got what two, six clan double heatsinks. What are we looking at here? We're gonna need a we need to get a Clan XL engine. 
Wow, two million to get an XL engine in that thing. So we did that. Let's say we did regular endo steel. We definitely need to go up against some clan opponents and Pharaoh. So we got 25 tons for supporting gear on this guy at 935,000. Question is now, what do we put in this? Wow, all the uh, energy points are in the, uh, a lot of them are here. Like this could theoretically be the upgrade for, upgrade for the Hellbringer. Because we could put the, put the two streaks back in here. Or the streak LRM. Three medium pulse lasers in the torso and then some bigger weapons on the arm maybe. That's a possibility. Um, we would probably need more speed if we were going to do that though. So we could go with like a 320. Still a 610 movement though. 330 is what? Still a 610 movement. But the difference between this is, how much is this way? 26 and a half, 28, two more tons really, eh? Do we have, we want to get a plus three. Like if we go, that's our heat sinking. We've still got, what, 20, 22 tons, 23 tons. And then once we get an XL engine, possibility, 1 million right now, 15 days. Let's do it. I mean, it's going to cost us 1.5 million for an XL engine. Okay, well, I'm going to leave this episode here. I think that was pretty good, actually, overall. Um, we're going to manage our tasks. Let's get the Thunderbolt up to the top. Actually, no. I want to get our mechs back earlier. So let's go this way. So four days, our pilots will be back. Our mechs will be back in four days. Then we can go after another mission. I think we're going to take that one against Clan Wolf. I feel pretty confident with the loadout that we have. I think we did pretty well with that. Um, so we'll go against, we'll do the three skull against Clan Wolf, the destroy base next, next time. Uh, see how that plays out. Pick up some clan gear because we're in desperate need of that. And then we'll probably jump planets. Um, now I could take a couple of the two skull missions here. We could go with a strip down. I mean, maybe we find, this is local pirates. If we can find something against clans here, that two skull, we could go with strip down, uh, Remote Wolf Laboratory, another destroy base at Two Skull. Uh, pirate enemies. I mean, I guess we could. We'll well, well, you know, we'll play it by ear at the end of at end of next episode. If we walk away from the end of the next mission with some mechs intact, and we can take a Two Skull, we'll do that as well before we jump planets. We got 13 days before the financial report. I want to maximize the amount uh, we can get done in those 13 days. To get our C bills up even more because if we can get uh, that Thunderbolt outfitted by the beginning of next month um, I know it's going to cost a lot if we put a clan XL engine in there but it, but uh, if we can get it outfitted and into play that'll be really good uh, we can start taking some heavier missions against the clans without me worrying too much about stuff all right so I'm in the episode here I hope you enjoyed it if you did drop a like if you haven't subscribed please feel free to subscribe you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below until next time we'll see you later